Once upon a time, about a decade ago, my friends and I tried this tabletop RPG thing. I couldn't make it to the trial of actual D&D, but it was a bit of a flop. Issue is, teenagers aren't exactly flowing with cash, so we found something that didn't need it. Pathfinder 1st Edition, my love, perfect for a number cruncher like me. Yeah, the person who keeps trying to get you to pick suboptimal was actually a number cruncher. Hardcore. Pathfinder was also basically free. They relied on adventure modules and minis and pure goodwill. We grabbed a PDF and some monsters, wrote down our spells and stats, and went to town. For others, it was a fun time, but for me, I found passion. I found who I was. Some of my characters redefined how I saw myself. Complete paradigm shift. It was great. I found in love. Occasionally, I could be tempted to play with another system. Shadowrun, Changeling, Fallout, but I knew my heart was in Galerion. But then the king returned, and people fell for 5e. And I refused. They said Pathfinder was far too complex and not welcoming to new players. I said to pick a page of any bestiary and rattled off the exact stats on it. They weren't new players and I could smooth out complexity. So they'd only play when I ran. And then not at all. But I am petty and doubled down. Even got editing privileges on D20 PFSRD. But eventually I had to admit that everyone I knew just wanted 5e. And I finally caved. I tried to hate 5e. I tried so hard, but I couldn't. I was even running the original Tyranny of Dragons, and I couldn't. I did homebrew to hell and back, but that's just how I work. I can't stop tweaking. It actually became my third favorite system. Right behind Pathfinder My Love and Changeling the Dreaming. And while I never stopped throwing money at Paizo in the background, I liked and used 5e enough that I started really releasing homebrew, and then making videos, and now we're current. One D&D looms on the horizon and many other systems alongside it. So what now? Well, remember when I said that I was a number cruncher? What I would do is give myself a flaw and try to overcome it for a challenge. I thought I wanted a number puzzle with thousands of variables, but what I really loved about RPGs was the concepts, the creativity, the characters. So here's my idea for now. It's time to expand. Make how-to videos, but maybe not just for one system. I said I wouldn't talk about the war zone of D&D Be Gone unless I had a change in plans for the channel. Well, here's Here's what I got. I still plan on doing things with 5e for a bit, but I'm going to start learning and relearning other systems and shifting over time. I'm still going to make my how-to videos, but not just for one system. My encounter series is going to start being more system agnostic or introducing ways to run them in other systems like I've been showing you how to run them at different levels. I also want to at least finish my series on classes, though given the massive news outbreaks every other day right now, I'm not guaranteeing much. All I know for sure is that I'm not going to be moving to 1D&D next year and I am broadening my topic variety. I just ask that you give it a shot, and if you want of not liking the new direction? Hey, no hard feelings. Thanks for the good time. It'll take a while to get into the swing of things. I'm still working out details or if half my ideas are even feasible, but I'm quick and eager to learn. If there's one thing I've proven, it's a willingness to improve. Maybe someday I'll go back to my root or raise Gobo Press's black flag. I might even show you how to play Changeling, but I'm thinking it's about time I tore these shackles off. I wanted to see if I had what it takes to get my feet off the ground. And you know what? I think I do. So let's see how quick these tiny legs can move. Gods, I have redone that last part nearly every day for about two weeks now. I'm serious, the last take was 10 hours ago. I'm just gonna put it out before I lose my voice again. No matter what happens to the future of D&D, they will never take the passion poured into it for 50 years. It lives on in the additions and mini creations that rose from them. They might have made the rules, but we're the ones who gave them life. Still, the whole me hating wizards thing was supposed to just be me not liking my boss and not liking elitism and just being generally judgy because I am self-aware. But now people are gonna think I'm just bitter about the terrible things that wizards of the coast have said regarding goblins and the monsters of the multiverse. Did you think I forgot about that? Why don't you slow down a second, Morden Kanan? I'll show you exactly how cowardly we are. About to take another tumble down that waterfall. Come at me, old man!